I am an online reseller as well as a self-proclaimed treasure hunter. But my real passion is in finding a great story. So make sure you subscribe because each week I'm bringing you my coolest finds and telling you their amazing stories. Hey guys, we finally made it back from Mexico. Tyler is feeling better than ever. He got over his little food sickness because he's such a wimp while he's traveling because that's what wimps do while they're traveling. They just get sick and then sleep in the hotel room the entire time. So this week was cool. I went to some really great spots. I went to some antique shops that I've really been wanting to go to. Um, and I found some cool stuff that I'm gonna show you guys. One of them was this pretty incredible rug. And you guys know I love my Navajo rugs. Ugh! You guys, it's awesome and it's really old and it's in pretty good condition. So I got this, but then the other thing that I found that was really cool is this camera. And what's weird about this camera is it's an old Canon camera and Tyler knows everything about cameras. I know nothing about cameras. Although what's cool about these older ones is it's like, it's very easy to test them and see if they work. And you can just see, you know, are they dirty? Are they functioning properly? But then what was interesting about this one, and this is something that I learned this week, which is very cool. I love learning new things, but um, it's a Canon camera with a Leica lens cap which is weird. So those of you that know Leica, Leica is like an incredibly expensive camera brand. Um, and Canon is, is a fairly valuable um, camera brand as well. <laughs> camera brand as well. So I just thought that somebody maybe put a Leica lens cap on a Canon camera. But then I called my brother and I asked him what to do about this situation here. And I learned something new today. The Canon camera, this particular one, has a Leica lens. And so because of that, it's just a lot more valuable than most vintage Canon cameras. So this is a, it has a Leitz, Leitz, Elmar? Lights, Elmar? I don't know how to pronounce it. Neither one of us know exactly how to pronounce it, but we know it's valuable. Does it look like a Leica photo? Um, sure. Okay, so he doesn't know as much as I thought he did, no. but this is still really cool. People really like these things. They're very collectible, and that's something you can look out for. Somebody did not just put a Leica lens cap on a Canon camera. Everything is as it's supposed to be. But then, on the way home, I stopped by this other place that was totally unexpected, totally off the beaten path. It was like this weird like warehouse slash like salvage yard where they just had a bunch of old parts from random things and I didn't even think about this but this is a really good place to find good stuff. You think of salvage yards, you think of like old bathtubs and old windows and old faucets which can also still kind of be cool. But I went in, I checked it out and I was really surprised. First of all, one of the things I found which is also like why do I keep finding these things? This stool, you guys, another African stool. Like, and this is, I, I think this is a Bamalike stool, but I'm not 100% sure. It's got like coins in the top, which is kind of cool and really cool shell detailing. And then it's of course got like the tribal figures on the side. And he had this there, which this is like the last thing you'd think you'd find in a salvage yard. Some of you guys, I don't know if you know Hartman, but Hartman is like a classic luggage brand that is, um, it's, it's collectible, it's vintage, but it's also very good quality. So a lot of these pieces will last forever. And some of the most valuable Hartman luggage is the all leather Hartman luggage. So I'm looking through this shop and I literally just see behind like old windows and old doors, these leather pieces. And I have to have somebody come and like help me lift everything off of them so I can dig these things out. But just all this all leather Hartman luggage is really, really good quality. Um, it may look a little beat up, but people like that. Everything that's supposed to work on these works perfectly. All of the snaps and all of the buttons and zippers, everything still works great. I didn't know what this thing was. Like, I thought that it was like a wheel, like a steering wheel on a ship or like a boat. And I'm thinking, okay, people buy old nautical stuff. So I'm gonna get this. I'm just gonna like check it out. I'm gonna see what it is and what it actually is is it's like an old safe knob. This was on like the door to a safe in a bank. It's huge and it's like solid metal and these things are incredibly valuable. Like this is super heavy and it's huge. 
I'm out of breath from just like holding it. That's how heavy it is. I feel like I'm kind of getting in the mood for Halloween. Like I'm finding myself buying things that I normally wouldn't buy just because they're kind of creepy and kind of scary. Um, I found these weird lamps and I'm like, I got home and I'm like, why did I buy these? I'm sure somebody will buy them just because they're so weird, but also like, why did I buy them? Hold please. Yep, that's right. I bought two porcelain creepy clown lamps. And if these don't get you in the mood for Halloween, like, I don't know what will. In fact, the fact that they're even this close to my face is so mortifying right now. I kind of, I definitely have goosebumps. So loud back there. Do you not think this camera picks up audio? Excuse me, there are people filming a video. You guys, my brother found a watch that's worth like $30,000, which is insane for a watch, people. So I'm obsessed, I'm like looking. I, I look at every freaking watch now, and do you know how many watches there are? Do you know how many watches are at the flea markets and how many watches are at like estate sales that are worth nothing? It's a lot of work. I found one, I found a watch today. Can I see it and show them? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like worth $30,000. This is like only worth like a couple, hundred. a couple hundred dollars, but I only paid 40 for it, so I'm really excited about it. I'm just learning about watches now, and I'm super excited about it. Continue with what you're doing with this watch. I was trying to take the case, but we'll just Peasant do. child. So I bought creepy lamps. I buy things that I normally wouldn't buy close to Halloween. So I want to hear your guys' comments. You tell me what the creepiest thing is that you bought. And it can be actually creepy or it can just be like weird creepy, like some clown lamps. I want to know what the creepiest thing is that you guys have ever bought. And maybe it's something that you got home and you did research on it and then you realized how creepy it was or it had a creepy story behind it. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me know your creepiest purchase. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes. Tyler, say goodbye to the fine people of YouTube. Uh, can they see me over here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're a little out of focus, but they can see you. Bye. Bye!